before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. What's up guys? It is Thursday, April 18, 2024, and we're back with another update video. I've been getting pretty good feedback on my update videos, so I decided, you know, I might as well just try to pump them out every day just to let y'all know what's going on. So we're going to do a whole snake room update today. Why not? First, we have this female right here. This is the pure lemon ghost woman. Like I say, I'm still not 100% sure if she's gravid or not, but I have the lay box just in shed. Saturday will be day seven post shed. So... I'm hoping that it's a that was a pre-lay shed and she has a few eggs, so we'll keep an eye out on her. This right here, you can't really see her, but she's in shed. This is the 100% head leucistic, so she's in shed for her double clutch. So I'll expect some more eggs from her in two weeks. Right here, we have my exanthic anaconda female head albino and she's actually in shed as well her eyes haven't turned blue yet but if you lift her up her underbelly is all gray all right we have my granite jungle who actually laid another infertile egg today you zoom out and as you can see i've actually am trying out regular shredded aspen again this is like Aspen mixed with the chips. I want to get rid of some of the chips, so we'll see how that is, see how they like to dig. I'll be feeding her again in the morning, and hopefully the second clutch should be better because I'll give y'all an update on her eggs. They are not looking good. I'm not sure if any of them are going to survive. All right, then we have my Sable Arctic Anaconda Head Albino. Just waiting on her to shed. I'll be feeding her tomorrow. She is getting huge, but I don't think she'll lay any eggs for me. We have my one and only Eastern right there. And I've made some updates on the baby rack. As you can see, I've got some of these out right here. I've cleaned these and sprayed them with the hydrogen peroxide. These guys have fed on Monday. What is this? This is my, he's he's in there. That's my Arctic Toffee. Lemon Ghost Woma. Let's move this out the way. Who is this right here? This is, she's actually in shed right now. So she, she'll probably shed either tonight or tomorrow. This is the Super Arctic Anaconda, 50% head Mai Tai. She's currently on Morph Market, but I'm probably about to just hold her back. Nobody wants her. It's my Jag. Female right here. Need to wash their hides. They have calcium powder all over them. And then we have the Shredded Aspen. And uh, this guy just shed out. This is the Super Arctic Super Conda Het uh, Coral. So we'll see how he likes his Aspen. He's pushing it around a lot. Who's this right here? Oh, we have my normal 50% Het Albino Leucistic. He'll be going to a new home next month. He's the one that always has an attitude. And we have the newest member. He's actually really pretty. This is the Exanthic 100% Het Albino and Sable. Really pretty. Got a little attitude too. All right. Just fed this girl today. And there is my Arctic Conda 100% Het Mai Tai female. And this is the noodle man. I fed him today as well. I didn't film this morning. I was in a rush, had to go to work, but had a 100% feed rate this morning. 
And I just upgraded this guy right here. This is my Lemon Ghost Swamma Outcross that I produced last year. As you can see, he's getting adjusted to that shredded Aspen, already hiding. I'm sorry, that's a female, I'm tripping. And then I upgraded this female right here. This is my Lavender Head Albino. All right, let's move over to this rack right here. All right, we have my Mai Tai. As you can see, he is in deep shed. Eyes are blue. Let's make him move, all right. Make sure you all right, buddy. Have the Lemon Ghost Woma. He actually ate today. All right. We have this guy right here. This is my Arctic. Anaconda had my tie. He's in shed as well. That's why he is buried. All right. This is my granite jungle. Let me go swallow my outcross. He is in shed as well. You can see he's a lot browner than he usually is. His eyes haven't turned blue yet. Let's go up here. This is my albino anaconda. 66% head sable. He ate today. All righty, all righty. And back here, got to clean out this poop. He actually ate today. This is curry. So the extreme red, 100% head albino. And I decided if he doesn't sell before August, I am going to donate him to the Daytona Reptile Expo auction. So... And the proceeds to go to U.S. ARC if he doesn't sell. Right, right here, we have my female. Let me go swallow my outcross. Put her in this larger enclosure. And then we got this guy, Ang, the full stripe, the airbender. If I produce more of these right here with that full stripe and the arrow at their head. I'm going to name this pattern the Airbender Morph. If you watch um, the Avatar, the cartoon, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's why I named him Ang. So that is the Hognose Collection. And let's look at the eggs. So all of the eggs for the, um, the possible head leucistics and possible lucies, those are looking good, but... These are the eggs for the granite jungle, and I don't know how well you can see this, but I see a lot of mold. A lot of mold. Wasn't really surprised. This egg furthest to the front looks like it might be good, but those two back there are definitely not good at all. It's nine total eggs in there. I am not sure how many are going to survive. I'm not going to mess with them. It is what it is, and I'll just hope that the female lays a good second clutch. But that is it for this update video. I'll see y'all for tomorrow with some more feeding. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.